for Tuar Lee, and it is considerable. What do you think will be especially relevant this time round? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Shane Duffy plays alongside Lewis Dunk in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Coutinho in the centre of the park. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Di Maria now. Lucas with it. Kerem Demirbay. Arangis, Lucas, now Poyan Palo, might really be able to trouble them here, cutting in, it has to be, still possibilities, not to be advised giving the ball away there, Demi a wayward effort, and it's not going to help his team lead. Well, wayward indeed. I think he had more time than he thought, and he just rushed it a little bit. Technique was all wrong. Duffy. The ball with Luka Modric. Now, let's see what they can do here. Diaby, Charles Arangis. Lucas, now Poyan Palo. Arangis, Lucas with it. Unable to hold on to the ball, Leverkusen. Demir Bay has it. Piquet. Might be able to set up the chance. Just wanted to get it out of there. Relentless high pressing. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. Trossard. Charles Arangis. Well, high marks for that pass. And teammates to play it to. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. And news of a goal on the Saint Etienne game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Saint Etienne. 24 minutes played, 1 0. Regular updates from Adam McAnally along the way. Piquet. Charles Arangis. Kerem Demirbay. Now Poyan Palo. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around. And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. And short it is. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. They've regained possession. Dragovic. Arangis. Lucas with it. Kerem Demirbay. Giving the ball away. Lucas. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Surely! And the keeper would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it. A chance now with the corner. Elects to go short. 
A poor cross, all things considered. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Poyan Palo with it. Terrific block there. So the corner played into the box. Well, that's the end of that for now. The cross is on. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Now in possession, Kosar. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And he was in the right place to intercept. Neil Mopé. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Now Poyan Palo. Kerem Demirbay. They do pass the ball with authority. He got in the way of that cross. Corner kick played over. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Arangis firing it towards goal. Well, body in the way. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Ready here for the second half, and it's Bayer Leverkusen who get the proceedings underway. Couldn't keep it. And now Coutinho. Messi. Can they get in behind them? It's there for him! And up for grabs off the keeper. Sigankov. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, it's often a case of five-star performances where Lionel Messi is concerned, but not necessarily in this case, Lee. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. The ball with Luka Modric. Still level here. But the pressure escalating. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. And a substitution in the offing. Well, if you've been paying attention to the morning newspapers and the sports blogs, you'll have read that Manchester United could well be getting an exciting new addition to the squad league. Yeah, if the media and the papers are believed, they've made an official bid. Not surprising, really, he's a top player. There's been rumblings for a while now. I guess we're likely to find out over the next couple of days or so. And news of a goal on the Saint-Étienne game. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Saint-Étienne. 60 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. And it's a quality pass. He might profit from here, you know. Lucas Moura. Well, it could be on for him here. And that is offside. They will now make use of the substitutes bench.
And it's with Maitland Niles. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. They've regained possession. It's Dan Byrne. Useful looking ball. Look at Modric. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Moussa Diaby, Lucas with it, Amiri with it. An awful lot of green space to run into. He could pick out a teammate. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Are they going to forge ahead? We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally, the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, here it is again. It looks a simple goal. He gets in a position not that far out from goal, but he has to hit the target. He does that, and it's in the back of the net. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better in, Derek. His players need help here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Inside the last quarter of an hour. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Failed to get it away properly. Making progress. Oh, it's gone in! And you have to feel for him now. It will go down as an own goal. Well, let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Messi. And Jovetic with it. Only ten minutes remaining here. Demir Bay has it. Amiri with it. of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves great goalkeeping well he's denied a certain goal there great reflexes from the keeper and firing it and the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery his ball all the way Amiri Jovetic, quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. It should be! Keeper did it quite to enough. I don't think of the grand scheme of things, he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice in training next week, that was pretty average, to be fair. Amiri. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Mopé. 
We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Andrić. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, great read there to intercept. The final whistle, and you can hear exactly what the fans think about the red card, which is going to be one of the big talking points, as well as the result here, Lee. Well, you can't blame the fans for getting wrapped up in the emotion. You really can't. What you can blame is the player for getting wrapped up in the emotion. You've really got to keep your head nice and cool. He didn't do that. And he's cost his team today, he really has. Relentless high pressing. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. 